Dear all, welcome back to my math channel MathWeb. In this video, I will answer your question number 9 from Pearson Dexel A level exam for Pure Math 1. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA 11 slash 01. Given that the point A has coordinates 4, 2, the point B has coordinates 15 and 7, the line L1 passes through A and B. Find the equation of the line L1. Given your answer in this form, Px plus Qy plus R equals to 0, where P, Q and R are the integers to be found. These are the coordinates of A and B. And uh, we want to find the equation of the line L1 that is passing through these two points. First of all, you need to find the gradient of uh, line AB. For the first part, you need to find the gradient. Gradient formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is the formula to find the gradient. If two points are given, we could find easily the gradient for these two points. This one is x1 and it is y1 and this is x2 and y2. So to find the gradient, gradient is represented by m. We can subtract the y values 7 minus 2 7 minus 2 divided by the x values, the corresponding x values, 15 minus 4. 15 minus 4. So the gradient of the line L1 will be 7 minus 2 is 5. 15 minus 4 is 11. So this is the gradient of line AB. We, we need to find the equation of the line L1. Equation of line L1. You can choose any point like you can choose A or B that is your choice. I will choose this one. Equation of line L1 through A4 and 2 is this is the standard formula for finding the equation of the line. You should memorize this formula y minus y1 equals m into x minus x1. Now plug in the values. Actually this one is x1 and this is y1 and m we already found that is 5 over 11. y minus 2 will be equals to 5 over 11 into x minus 4 x1 is 4 we want the equation of the line l1 in this form so you have to bring everything on the left hand side so better you get rid of this uh, denominator to get rid of this denominator you should multiply by the same number multiply by 11 so it will be 11y minus 22 will be equals to 5 will multiply inside the both of these values inside the bracket so it will be 5x minus 20. In the next step, you can move these values on right hand side. So it will left uh, with 0 on the left hand side. So it will be 5x and 11y will be minus here. So it will be 11y minus 20 is already there. And this minus 22 becomes positive 22 on the right hand side. So you can write this equation as 5x minus 11y minus 20 plus 22 will be plus 2 equals to 0. It is exactly as required. We want everything on the left hand side. So everything is on the left hand side. You need to find the values of P, Q and R. They are integers. So they are integers, no fractions here. Okay. Therefore, you can write the mention the values for P, Q and R. P is the coefficient of X. That is 5. And Q is the coefficient of Y. That is minus 11. And R is the constant. That is 2. So first part of this question is done. Hopefully you understand. In the next part, the line L2 passes through A and is parallel to the x-axis. The point C lies on L2 so that the length of BC is given that is 5 square root 5. In second part, find both possible pairs of coordinates of the point C. It means uh, C will be there will be two points, both pairs. Uh, no need to draw the graph accurately, just only I will draw this one to let you understand. You know, these are two points here. Let me write those two points A and B. A is uh, 4 and 2 and uh, B is 15 and 7. Let's say 15 and 7 is somewhere here and uh, 4 and 2 is here. You know, line L1 is passing through this, uh, this point. This is uh, A and the other point is B. This is the line L1. So this is point A that is 4 and 2 and this is point P that is 15 and 7. 
this is the line L1 that is passing through these two points. Okay. Now, let me go back to the question. The point C lies on L2 and L2 is uh, parallel to the x-axis. Parallel to the x-axis. So, L2 is passing through A. L2 is passing through A and it is parallel. So, it will be the horizontal line. Parallel to the x-axis means this line will be the horizontal like that. Okay. This is the line L2. It is parallel to x-axis. And C is lying here. C is lying. Maybe it is here. Okay. It could be here or it could be on other side. C is lying on line L2 and it could be here or it could be there. You know, uh, here, let me show you. Length BC is given in both cases. C, this is BC. And this could be BC as well. Uh, C could be on the left side or C could be on the right side. For both sides, length will be the same. This length is given there. Length BC is given. Okay. Look here. This is the length BC. It is given. That is 5 square root 5. So, this length is 5 square root 5. This length is 5 square root 5. And this length is uh, 5 square root 5. Draw a perpendicular from point B on this line L2. Okay. Like this, you will get two right triangles here. And this will be the point D where it is intersecting. This perpendicular is intersecting at point D. We could find the coordinates of point D as well. You know, uh, here the x coordinate uh, is 15. How to get uh, x coordinate because uh, it is exactly below B. So x coordinate will be 15 here. Okay. And uh, y coordinate along this line is 2. So the coordinates uh, for D will be 15 and 2. Now we could find the height uh, of this y triangle. How to find the height of y triangle? You just subtract the y coordinates. Y coordinate of uh, D is 2 and here y coordinate is 7. So it is 2 and 7. From 2 to 7, the length will be 5 for sure. 7 minus 2, the height of this triangle will be 5. Now by using Pythagorean theorem in this right triangle, you could find the length of CD. This length and this length is equal for sure. In right triangle, in triangle BCD, by using Pythagorean theorem, we can find the length of CD. CD square will be equals to the hypotenuse square, that is 5, square root 5, square of this one minus the opposite square. of The hypotenuse is opposite to 90 degrees, so this is a hypotenuse and the opposite is this one. So, opposite square is 5 square. Actually, Pythagorean uh, theorem is this formula, you have to memorize this one as well, hypotenuse square equals to opposite square plus adjacent square, okay. So, you need to use, uh, you have to find the adjacent actually, you have to move this value there, so it will be subtracted. So, by using this formula, you could easily find the length of CD. Solving this one by using calculator, you can solve it mentally. So, it will be 125 here, minus 25, and we get here CD square equals to 100, take square root of both sides. Uh, we will get the answer positive, answer 10, negative will be ignored. So, length of CD is 10. Therefore, this length is 10 and this one is 10 as well. Uh, from here to here it is 10 and uh, we know that this is 15. 15 minus 10 will give you the coordinate of left hand side coordinates for C. Therefore, the coordinates of C will be, you can write as 15 minus 10 and the other one is 2 equals to C equals to 5 and 2. So, these are the coordinates of C that, C that is on the left hand side of D. Okay because it is on the left side so it will be subtracted and uh, to find the coordinate of this c you have to add this 10 to this 15 okay so the other coordinates 15 plus 10 and y coordinate will be same so c will be 25 and 2 so these are this is the pair of coordinates of point c hopefully you understand it second part is done let's move on Hence, find the minimum possible area of triangle ABC. To find the minimum possible area for triangle ABC, you know, you have to select the this triangle, the left hand side. ABC is this one, ABC is small triangle and ABC is a big triangle, but you have to choose the small triangle. Small triangle is on the left hand side, this one. 
you need to find this area to find this area you have to find the base you know height we already know uh, for this triangle uh, you know the coordinates of this point C is 5 and 2 so the base of this triangle will be from 4 to 5 it will be 1 for sure the base will be 1 okay this is the base and this one is the height of this triangle for the last part uh, we know the formula of area of triangle is 1 over 2 times base times height. I already told you for minimum area of the triangle base will be 1. Uh, you have to consider the left hand side triangle. So base is 1 and height is 5. So answer for this part will be 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. Uh, let me check the units if it is given. I you should write the units as well. Uh, because uh, units are not given here, so better you write uh, the area in square units. You can write here square units. So this is the answer for the last part of question number 9. Question number 9 is done. If you have any question, any doubt in this question, please write in the comment box. Thank you.